hello friends welcome to my channel my name is wolo i want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and seen my videos i love to share information about life in canada immigrating to canada and everything useful please don't laugh at my funny hat it's the 12 days to christmas series and today is december 22nd three days to christmas yay don't mind me i am not a christmas person i don't i'm not really sucked into the christmas festivities and all that i like to just hide in my corner and that's kind of my kind of person i like to hide in my corner during christmas and just you know and there's so much festivities and activities going on um in africa in canada it's usually quiet people spend time with their families during christmas and it's usually quiet um but what people do is just to you know either go skating or um taking a walk or whatever the activities are not so much during christmas season in canada so that's by the way today's video has been a frequently asked question on express entry and that is the proof of funds or the settlement funds depending on how you want to call it the proof of funds is a requirement by the federal government of canada for anybody planning to immigrate as a permanent resident to canada it's a requirement that you have certain amount of monies in your account that you'll be using to establish yourself by the time you fully immigrate as a permanent resident to canada i'm not referring to people who are coming under work permit or people who are coming under study permit those categories are different i'm talking about immigration and becoming a permanent resident in canada now the government has set out an amount for uh, per individual or per family member i'll be leaving the settlement funds for each category on the screen which you would see for the one for federal skilled workers program and the federal skilled trades program is the same the one for aipp is slightly lower the one for rnip is also slightly lower for the canadian experience class proof of funds is not necessary it's not required especially if you have a job if you have a full-time job and you are still working in canada you don't need to present a proof of funds for the canadian experience class but for the federal skilled worker provincial nomination aipp ronip you need to show your proof of funds now a lot of questions have been asked concerning where do i raise the money from well you have to raise the money from your earnings or your side hustles or whatever but the money has to be in your account as at the time you are creating your express entry profile or you are putting in your expression of interest for provincial nomination the reason why you should have this money ready in your accounts is because you do not know if you will get an invitation to submit a full document to apply um for depending on the program you are applying for if it is provincial nomination or express entry you don't know when you get a letter in your mailbox telling you send in your full document and once you get that letter you don't want to start running helter skelter looking for the money um to present as your settlement funds or your proof of funds now the proof of funds should be your either your bank statement or it should be an investment more like an investment certificate that you can easily liquidate um, you cannot use real estate you cannot use a house the value of a house as your proof of funds you cannot use the value of a car as your proof of funds you it's you have to liquidate those those items and have cash sitting in your account either as an investment or just in your day-to-day -day account as your settlement funds so please note this you cannot say you have a property worth 100 million dollars as your settlement funds that is not acceptable because um, it takes time to liquidate such assets so that is um, one thing you should know about the settlement funds. if you don't have the full money you should have be, at least be able to have like 70 percent 60 percent 80 percent of the money in your account so that once you are invited to apply you're only given 60 days to submit your application um, within that 60 days you should be able to raise the completed money in your account and you can submit treasury bills mutual funds um, fixed deposits um, your pension statement now for people coming from nigeria the pension statement you can have access to 25 percent of the pension 
money you have contributed so far um, you cannot have access to the full amount in your pension statement because you can only have access when you have retired at the age of 60 but you have access to 25 percent of that income so you can use your pension statement but 25 percent of your pension statement can be used as your proof of force not the full um pension statement 25 percent of it then you can you know gather the monies from different places you can also have your families transfer money into your account and um, use it as the proof of funds. Now, when your family members transfer money into your account, you should get a letter from your family members and notarize the letter. The letter must be notarized to indicate that the, let the monies transferred into your account is a gift deed to you and you do not have to refund the money back to them. Your settlement funds should not be borrowed because that's the rule. That's the rule concerning Canadian um, immigration. It should not be borrowed from anybody because you do not know when they would ask for an additional document from you. And if they ask you to submit your statement again and you must have borrowed the money and returned it back, will you be able to start uh, putting that money back in your account again? And once they do that, once sometimes when they ask for additional document from you they just give you like 10 days 15 days and if you're not able to get that money back into your account within 10 days or 15 days it is best to leave the money in your account during the whole process of your immigration so once you get your settlement funds ready it is best it is advised best advice to it is advised to leave that money in your account during the process of your immigration application until your application is successful and once it is successful you can then do whatever you like with your money i know some people complain that they use the money for businesses they use the money for different things but um like i said you do not know when the visa officers will request for an additional document from you maybe they can tell you to just present your bank statement again and once you're presenting your account you know you have to present a six months bank statement so any huge inflow into your bank account should be explained in in form of a letter of explanation you should be able to explain what the money is for and how the money came into your account let's say you are earning hundred thousand naira wherever you work and then all of a sudden there is a two million naira inflow of cash into your account you should explain what that money is about especially if it is within the six months that you are supposed to apply for the express entry and you can also combine bank statements between you and your spouse all you need to do is just write a letter of explanation that oh this is the total amount of proof of funds but the money is from uh, maybe five million is from your account and then the remaining money is from your spouse's account combined together um, shows the settlement funds that you have in your account so um one question somebody asked was can i use my parents bank statement as settlement funds no you cannot use your parents bank statement you cannot use your brother's bank statement as settlement funds remember i'm talking about immigrating to canada as a permanent resident i'm not talking about study permit for study permits you can have a sponsor and you can present the sponsor's account but for permanent residents you need to have that money in your account you cannot present another person's account as um your account for the proof of funds so i hope i have clarified this um question and um like i mentioned just a summary once you are ready to create your express entry profile it is best to get at least if it is not the full money get at least 60 percent of the money um ready as your settlement funds or proof of funds for people planning to immigrate to canada in 2020 it is best to start saving all your monies um in addition to what i have been saying um uh, if you have an asset like a car and you want to use um the car as part of your settlement funds or proof of funds when before you sell the car it is important to take a picture of the car and um the vehicle particulars at least should be in your name everything concerning documents should be your name so once you sell the car and the person transfers the money into your account you can also put a letter of explanation stating that part of your proof of funds is um, from your assets that you sold and you will show the documents 
you know you have to show the document of what the asset is and the money that was sent into your account when you sold the asset so you can actually have assets um and then sell the assets to get money to beef up your um settlement funds but you have to show documents of the assets as a uh, backup and also show how much the asset was sold for to explain the inflow of money into your account so these are the various ways of getting settlement funds you can sell whatever you have you need to take a picture of the items you have before selling them so once you sell them and there is money in your account you can explain what the money in your account is for so like i mentioned you need is you need to present a six months bank statement and any other investment certificates that you have investment certificates maybe mutual funds maybe fixed deposit whatever investment certificate that you have you can also present those documents as your settlement funds so this is the information i want to share thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye